Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today I'm going to show you what I do with MCC challenges. Like, um, how to complete challenges fast is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to show you how to do the PvE challenges quickly. If you if you're not using or if you got different methods that are slower, uh, I'm just going to teach you how to what method I use to finish these faster. So without further ado, let me just uh, let's start off with narrative navigator. Complete campaign or Spartan ops missions. Earn additional. Yeah, uh, this is easy. So is for this first one, just gonna do campaign. Go to Halo Two uh, missions. Oh yeah, it's already it's already here. Uprising. Oh shit. Uprising. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Heroic. Uh, skulls doesn't matter, and just, and just start. All right, now that we booted up here, just click A, whatever, and uh, just, just just start walking. I'm gonna show you to beat this mission in like less than like about two minutes. Take the sword, jump on this rock, jump again, jump on this rock again to boost yourself. Right here, go invisible. Roots. Stop over here. You can risk going over there, but there's like two brutes over here. So, and we're on heroic, so I don't want to risk anything. Just wait for your active camo. Go camo. There you go. Hopefully, sometimes that guy will go and attack him, but sometimes he doesn't. He stands like a retard. Jump on this uh, little light over here. Jump over here again. Here are the space monkeys. Camo's ready. Now this specific rock right here, as soon as you kind of pass it, go camo. Skips these jack uh, jackals. There should be two more brutes in here, yeah. Let them go, they won't see you. Pick up the sword. They might assassinate a guy here. Yeah, let's see this guy. He's gone. Now what you want to do is jump over here. You should jump straight down if you time it right. Go camo. There's gonna be like a couple brutes here. Keep running. That guy's gonna die. Yeah, he, he's dead. Keep walking down here. This guy got distracted by a grunt. Hug this uh, wall over here to your right. Grab this fuel rod, you're gonna need it. There is ammo if you make this left over here. Reload. Another time. Go camo again. Jump over this rock. And you're pretty much done. Now the fuel rod is two shots for the brute, one shot for the jackal. There you go. You just jump over here. Now I'm gonna this specific jump. What you want to do is sort of jump in between over here. And this is why I'm in classic for uh, graphics for the uh, just to see the geometry easier. So jump in this tree like in between the the rock and the tree like this, and then don't crouch jump because um, it's just easier to just jump and just feel the. Here, look, watch. So you just jump. You'll feel where the floor is eventually. Look at that, there nice. you go. It's gonna take you a couple times, but uh, I'm pretty, it, just don't, I don't recommend crouch jumping. If you crouch jump, like you could you could potentially go over and, and, and die. So just just jump a little bit, keep keep moving forward like a little bit of love taps, like see? It might look like this when you're trying to attempt it the first time. Uh, shit. Oh no, like see, it's gonna look like this if, if this is your first time doing this. Let's get a feel for it. Eventually, you should get it. There you go. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, now I'm missing. I'm just trying to show people. There we go. See, and then you. Son of a bitch. Now I'm fucking up. Okay, there we go. So once you hit this, and it's really simple, all you gotta do is look up, jump over here, and that's it. You're done. Now this is running. Now I'm gonna show you how to complete this because getting this checkpoint is weird for some people. So. I might as well record uh, what works for me to activate this checkpoint. And over here you can kind of jump, just keep jumping so you can like boost yourself a little bit. And once you get over here, don't jump, just self slide. Now come to this corner, what I do, crouch, and then just follow this line and stick while crouched. And there you go. That is how you complete 
uh, I, I, free, I even forgot what the mission is even called, but that's how you complete that mission. And you can see the challenges popped up. I got like four points for that. But uh, yeah, that's how you do that. And let me do this like, I think two more times and then we're gonna go to the next challenge. And there we go, challenge is completed. So uh, just follow those steps and uh, you'll, you'll be fine. Like it, it's really easy. It's only like, how long did that take me? Like two minutes? Maybe not. Yeah, you know, like maybe around two minutes. It's just running and just, like I said, play on heroic. Do not uh, play on legendary unless you have to. Like if one of the challenges asks you to. Uh, it's uh, legendary is never fun in Halo Two. <laughs> All right, on to the next challenge for today weekly challenges let's see defeat light infantry enemies in pve modes okay so this is easy um probably a lot of you guys already know this but what you do is you go to firefight uh halo reach custom firefight kick uh select the map corvette uh come here to the right uh, you might have noticed I have three game modes here. Sh shoutouts to uh, with, uh, Patman Gaming for the uh, these custom game types. He made these the beginning of MCC or like when Reach came out. He he made these uh, for the Golden Camo for CE way back when MCC got the, got like a huge update with Reach. And uh, so shoutouts to him. Thank you, thank you, Patman. And uh, what I did was I saved his his game type and I made three different variants. Uh, so. You got the Golden Camel Cheese. I didn't change the names. Uh, then I got the a Hunter variant for the uh, for like the heavy versions. And then there's heavy. This one is filled with brutes. I'll probably put these in my uh, bleh. I'll put these in my file share in case uh, you guys want to use these two other variants. But you can also go to Patman Gaming and just get the base game uh, base uh, game type I, I took from him. So uh, I'll probably leave the video and leave that particular video in the description. So yeah, just choose this. In this case, it's light infantry. Accept settings. Include recommend heroic again. And that's it. You'll be fine. Just uh, gonna be slaying like what 200 grunts. Spartan, secure this All area. Right. Set start. So let me showcase the game type a little bit real quick. So you're, you're invincible, basically, sir. So you, you don't have to worry about dying. All you have to do. Alright, now that that challenge is done, go. Next PvE challenge, car alarm. Ugh, I hate this one. Uh, if there's, if you guys have better methods, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to hear them, but besides this matchmaking or, or something, this, uh, this would be easier if, uh, if you got a partner with two people, but if you're solo queuing like me, this is what I do. So for car alarm, what you do, multiplayer. Uh, not multiplayer. Uh, firefight, Halo Reach Custom. You go to the map. Installation 04. Uh, this would probably be better. Like, use that same uh, game type that, that I showed you last time. We try it. I was going to see if I can try to make vehicles invincible, but I don't think you can. That's what makes this challenge kind of just bleh. Because if the vehicle dies, then you got to wait like an entire round for it to respawn or you can or you can get desperate and use a mongoose to run over shit yep i had to do that a couple times <clears throat> all right take the warthog right here Set start. oh look you see there's a uh, we already got the space monkeys i guess one covenant oh, oh, my god. God. Oh, look. oh my god there's a lot of them triple kill there we go Oh man, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe this should have been done first before the, the cannon brought it on. 
that way you could have gotten yeah. like two two challenges done or at least complete one challenge and then already have another challenge partially completed hey this is all you do Slash 04 grab the warthog grab it around start shooting uh, like i said obviously this would be easy if you had two people but if you're solo queuing this is what you do Keep your distance, don't go too close, because these guys will throw grenades. Okay. We are on normal, so maybe there's less chances of that happening. Kill Kill these poor Overkill. hideous creatures. Rampage. Double kill. Finally, there we go. After reinforcements, long struggle. Double. That's it. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Game over. There you go. I. Just, just got to do if you're solo queuing. If you're solo queuing, just uh, drive the warthog around and get on the turret and go back and forth and. It, it's a tedious challenge if you're solo queuing. If you had, if you if you get a partner with you, it's a lot easier. Because then you guys can just take turns on the turret. All right, on to the next challenge. In the PVE section, let's see, we got complete campaign missions in Halo Reach or C. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do with this one. Oh, one more thing I should mention. Another map you could try. I don't know if it's better or worse. Unearth. I think Unearth has a Warthog, if, if someone could correct me on that. Maybe two Warthogs. But it's a map you can try. I, I use Installation 04 because that's the one I remember. What I do, go to Campaigns, Halo Reach, Missions. All you do is Winter Contingency. Start from the beginning, doesn't matter. Uh, keep it at normal, doesn't matter what skulls you put. It's literally just this mission. I'm going to show you how to beat this mission fast. You can almost don't. It's mostly running until you get to the very end. Let's go, six. All right, noble team. All right, so here's what you do: out. ignore your Watch team, you press the sprint button, and start running, and jumping. Just keep keep sprinting as soon as you see it available at the bottom left of your screen. Roger that. Eyes peeled. Structure point three four looks clear from this angle. Smoke at the next junction, boss. Circle west and check it out. Noble team, you have permission to engage, but be selective. Telegraph of presence. Six. Keep going, just house. just follow the route Noble I'm point. taking. Right behind you. Noble leader, I'm seeing heat six in the structure ahead. Watch your motion trackers. What the hell is that? June, you see anything? Contact! Contact! Uh, save your sprint over here. here. Over here. Banshees, stick to your right. For this whole section, just stick to your right. Falcon, moving to assist. You're only going to be fighting in three encounters. Just keep following the route I'm taking. Stick to your right. It's also a useful method if you're playing on Legendary, by the way. Uh, of course, if you are a speedrunner, or if you know any campaigns that you think are faster, you can go ahead and let me know. Tango. There we go. We passed through a lot of guys. Uh, you do not have to wait for Carter and George, they are too slow. If you want to beat this as fast as possible, just keep driving. Pretty sure there's another route you can take. To the right, I just missed. No believe it. I'm seeing this is what I take. The structure ahead. Skip all this. 
Damn, I didn't kill that bird. Oh, yeah. Hi, chicken. Picking up a distress signal. Mayday, 3 Charlie 6. Does anyone read? We were attacked by Covenant forces. The Covenant is on reach. I repeat, the Covenant is on reach. There you go. Now, this, you're gonna have to fight in this encounter. Something I've noticed when I kept playing this mission over and over for the weekly challenge is if you look down to your feet, depending on your field of view, it's, uh, it's weird that you can see like my feet is like, shifting around. Can you beat it? I guess it's the cost of uh, increasing the uh, FOV in these old games. It's in Halo 3 too. It's it's an all it's it's in all the Halo games that no except Halo One, not Halo One because Halo One you can't see. But I guess this is the uh, the price we pay for for having the field of view option for these old games. It's kind of weird, but you can ignore that. It's not a huge deal to me. Drop us in the courtyard. LZ's a little hot, sir. Oh. Oh. Doing, Cat. Hey, look, it's my mascot. Hold them off till Cat can hack the control. Everybody inside. Go, go, go. Now we are, or at least it should be playing on normal. It shouldn't be uh, that difficult. Don't get your ass in here. Okay. Uh, I, that's rare for me. I, it usually doesn't happen. All right, goodbye, George. Usually they'd be programmed to come inside. The door takes forever to open. Let's see Just sprint. Thing. Six, turn on your night vision. Take a left, take another left. Cutscene plays, skip the cutscene. Got a beam on to your right. Door's gonna shoot a flare. Throw the nade, explosives to your right. Uh, got the elites. No. Keep pushing forward. Yep, just do what I do, just kick ass. Bit more. Keep sprinting. Alright, this is out. the last encounter. I'll you covered. Huh. my nades. There we go, clear them out. That's it. Hit the button. And skip the cutscene. And that's how you do it. From the beginning. Uh, that's the mission I use. As you can see, uh... I just need to do that three more times and, or no, two more times, I'm bad. And, uh, you'll be good to go with that one. Save and quit. I think that's the last challenge, right? That I need to do, or is there another PvE one? There we go. Oh, okay. So, yeah, just follow that. Follow exactly what I did. It's really, really not hard at all. You're playing on normal, so it shouldn't be that difficult. All right, so there we go. Uh, so just go to firefight matchmaking, reach firefight doubles. Just kind of, kind of sweat in there a little bit. Get 50 kills before your partner does. It's only one round, so you get, should get it done pretty quick. Just gotta do it three times, and that's it. You'll be done. It's just these last two. I just gotta, gotta finish up. It's just mostly the PVE ones that are. Uh, there are easy methods that I can that I've shown you throughout this video. So, uh, anyways, uh, hope this helps some people out there. Probably the especially like the new guys who are new to to the Halo series. Especially uh, those of you guys that P on PC. You guys don't know any fast methods. I hope uh, some tactics I've shown you here can uh, show you to do them faster. So, uh, anyways, uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.